So today we'll be looking at our best ZX Tech CCTV cameras yet. So you can see we've got some larger bullets, we've got some smaller bullets, and again we've got some small domes and larger domes. They will come in 5 megapixel and 4K and they'll also come with AI and we'll be going over some of their features and capabilities. So today we'll be going over the AI features of the camera which are the key features of our new ZX Tech cameras. So we'll start off with the key feature of the face detection. So what will happen is, is that the camera will be able to read as and when uh, people are coming into and leaving your property it will be very specific to people so motion uh, false alert alerts will be uh, like a thing of the past so once you kind of see that uh, a person is in the area it will immediately alert you and you'll know that it is a person because it is detected their face um, intrusion detection uh, will be the next feature uh, so with intrusion detection uh, again, it's going to be drawing a space within the camera image and what you can do is is when someone goes in that space it will alert you and tell you that that person has entered. So that could be very good if you're protecting your private property or your garden or your business and there's an area that other customers or people shouldn't be in, um, it will alert you and inform you that those people are there. Uh, the next thing would be uh, the line crossing detection. So with line crossing detection uh, you will see that um, if you draw a line on the camera image it can be very useful for if you've got a gate or a fence and uh, someone's entering or leaving you can pick up if you only want to detect when someone leaves or enters and it could be very useful for uh, protecting your property or knowing where people are coming and going. Um, the next would be uh, loitering detection Loitering detection is uh, another feature that will work similar to the intrusion so you'll draw a space or an area and if anyone lingers in that space for too long and you can set how long this time is it will alert you so if you've got someone hanging around a space for 5-10 minutes when it shouldn't be uh, you will know and it will inform you and that could be again quite helpful from uh, your standard motion detection. Um, the next feature would be uh, the people gathering so Again, like uh, the loitering and intrusion, you'll draw an area or space and when too many people gather within this space, uh, you will get an alert to tell you that X amount of people are starting to gather. So this could, again can be helpful if you've got groups of people or gangs hanging around when they shouldn't be, uh, you'll get those alerts and detections. So all of our AI cameras, so our new ZX Tech cameras will come with a four gigabyte storage. Uh, so what that means is, is that you'll have some internal storage that the camera can then save data to. And this will be very great to work with in conjunction of the face detection. So what you could do is set up facial detection on the camera and what that would do is you can have it save internally to the camera. So should anything happen to your recorder or for whatever reason, uh, you can't access that recorder, uh, you will have some data and information built into the camera so you won't lose out on that data or footage that you will need. Cameras will also come with an SD card slot as well, so if the 4GB isn't enough you can expand on this up to 512GB uh, and that will be the maximum capacity and this will be with the 4GB as well. Uh, the next feature of our cameras is the 120 HDR high dynamic range. So our ZX Tech cameras uh, will now have the processing power that after the image is taken to retain as much detail as possible of that original image. So should it see people or cars and it will help maintain that maximum quality image uh, after it has been taken. So you'll always be able to capture those details that you need in order for the police to uh, act upon the evidence you're providing. All of our ZX Tech AI CCTV cameras will be coming with a Sony Starvis image sensor, so you'll get the best quality image possible thanks to the Sony Starvis chip. So now going over some of our basic features of our cameras, so again this will come in 5 megapixel and also in 4K. Uh, all the AI cameras will come also with uh, internal PoE, so all of our cameras will have PoE enabled. Uh, you can also see on the back of the camera you will have a QR code for the app, uh, so all cameras uh, will come with this QR code for you to scan. Uh, as you can probably see, uh, they're all metal casing, uh, so they're 
all vandal proof as well and they have an IP67 rating so they're splash proof, uh, uh, waterproof so they're good for outdoor weather. Uh, they also come with a new H.265 Plus uh, video encoding. So with this new video encoding you can save and store even more data and footage. So that means even more days of recording for you. So we're going to be looking at some of the physical attributes of our cameras uh, today. Starting off with the smaller ones. Uh, so uh, the dome and the bullets come with a 2.8 millimeter uh, uh, lens which is wider than your 3.6 millimeter lens so that will give you a nice wide angle uh, they also come with an integrated microphone so on the bullet you can find it towards the top and on the dome you can find it towards the bottom and what that allows you to do is record audio on your CCTV footage um, also the these cameras also have a 30 meter infrared night vision with the bigger cameras they have a 2.7 millimeter lens but they are also motorized lenses so they can zoom in and they're up to 13.5 millimeter lens uh, which will narrow the vision but will give you a greater distance and this can also all be controlled from your mobile phone so you can remotely zoom these in and out as you require uh, the larger domes will come with a 30 meter night vision whereas the bullets will come with a 60 meter night vision and that's because of the longer body so you'll get a better night vision from these ones uh, and also all of these cameras have a metallic body so they're all solid metal with uh, vandal proof as well as you can see these are our ZX Tech cameras and here either side of the smaller one I've got my new ZX Tech AI range um, you can see in the size comparison that they are a little bit bigger but they're also very compact with their new unibody. So you can see on the smaller camera, you've got a bigger base of the bracket and it also screws from the bottom and uh, you've got your four screw fittings. But with our new AI cameras, you can see the body's much more compact. We've got our small screw here to loosen it and you can see it comes with a less screw fitting as well. And it's much more compact and looks a lot more tidy. Um, you can see still they're not that big even though they're, they are bigger than the smaller one. So they'll still be very compact and will look nice and tidy where you place them. Our AI ZX Tech cameras will be coming with a, a base bracket as well. So this is white for the white camera and it will also come in gray and match the color of this camera also. Uh, you can see we've got quite a few screw fittings but you'll see that there's three fittings here and they all line up to the base and then you can feed uh, your cable through into the base and to keep it much more neat and tidy. And it can also, when placing on a wall, it can also elevate the camera's position. So if you need that extra bit of distance from the wall, uh, that can also be useful for this. Um, however, the camera brackets that the cameras do come with do still have a cable tidy space and they still will fit to the wall and they are ne nice, neat and tidy and compact. So you don't have to use this, but it can be useful for some of your installations. So now we'll be looking at our larger dome cameras and you can see this is our Atlas and uh, our standard kind of camera that we sell at the moment. And these will be our AI ZX Tech cameras. And uh, you can see that they're larger in size, but you'll probably notice that on this camera we've got a zoom and focus screw uh, and these ones don't. And the reason for that is because is these have got automatic zoom so the actual lens will zoom in and out remotely if you want to use the app and uh, you can control the actual lens so it, it has a much better method for using the zoom and focus so you don't have to use this and do it manually because of course once you fit this camera you can't make adjustments to it later without going up there to do so but with these ones you can all do it from your phone or from the recorder so it makes it much easier to adjust uh, that lens focus when you need it um, again, with these cameras, you'll find that they come with brackets as well. <clears throat> so you'll see that, again, this camera's got a larger base bracket with the four screw points, and uh, you can unscrew it to fit it, but these will come with the unibody, and again, you've got this small screw point to loosen up the base, and it's got the three screw pinhole, so it's less work for you, less screwing in, and more less holes in the wall for you. Um, again, you've got the cable tidy so you can use just the base bracket on the wall if you wish but they do come with the elevated base if you want and you can see you've got multiple screw fittings and you'll find the three that are aligned and you'll place it and fit it on top and what you'll do then is is you'll feed the cable through into the base to keep everything nice and tidy and uh, again if you're fitting this on the wall and you want a more elevated position that can help with that uh, this will come in grey and also white so you'll have again the multiple screws in the base and you can 
align it and fit on top. Okay, so now we're looking at our bullet cameras and these are our smaller bullet cameras and you can see this is our existing ZX Tech bullet camera. This is our baby bullet and so you've got an idea of the design. You can see we've got the sun shield separate which comes off and screws and uh, our new AI cameras uh, will be have a unified body and you can see it's got a much more flush design. Uh, the sun shield is built in so you ain't got to fiddle with it or lose it and uh, it will just kind of be a lot more plug and play without having to make alterations uh, to the body design and you can see you've got the black and with the grey again it's a flush design. The bullet cameras will also come with a, a base bracket uh, so if you want to use the base bracket you can do uh, however if you did just want to use the camera bracket it does have the ca uh, cable tidy section so you can mount that just to the wall but if you want to extrude the camera or to tuck all this extra wiring away you can use uh, this bracket here it will have the screw fittings you line it up and then you can just mount it on um, also with the joint adjustment here you can even turn it and then bend it around corners if you wish. The base bracket will also come in grey uh, to match this camera. Okay so here we've got our larger bullet cameras uh, and in the middle we've got our older ZX Tech camera with the older design. Um, so what you'll see here is that we've got less room on the sun shield and we've also got this section where the camera can separate. But with our new cameras, our new AI ZX Tech cameras, you'll see that we've got a lot more leeway on the sun shielding for its positioning and we have a, a lot more, uh, we don't have that section that uh, disconnects from the camera so it makes it a lot more robust and uh, much nicer to look at in terms of design. Uh, what you'll see also is that our cameras come with a base bracket. Uh, with this camera again, you can still fit it and install it uh, with just the camera bracket if you wish. Uh, but if you wanted to extrude the camera or make it a lot more uh, tidy with the cables, you can feed them into here, line up the uh, camera mount bracket onto it, and again, you can place it onto the camera. And again, it will extrude it and give you a little bit more play with how you can install your camera.